Hi, I am Dr. T.J. Pradeep Kumar, Senior Consultant, Medical Director of Brookfield Hospital. High blood pressure is a silent disease. Most commonly, high blood pressure manifests by accidental detection of blood pressure being high during a routine visit to the hospital. In certain instances, there are certain symptoms which will prompt us to diagnose a high blood pressure. The common symptoms that a person with high blood pressure presents to the doctors are with history of chronic headache, giddiness, blurring of vision, some amount of palpitations, shortness of breath. In some instances, it could also have advanced hypertension related complications presenting as leg swelling, swelling around the eyes, which indicates end organ damage like that of kidneys being affected. The other reasons how we in, uh, diagnose a high blood pressure, apart from using the regular BP apparatus, we would also use a 24 hour blood pressure monitoring device. These are the newer devices that are available to help us document high blood pressure before we start specific treatment for these individuals. As far as management of high blood pressure is concerned, we classify hypertension as primary hypertension and secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension is one wherein there are no known causes of hypertension. In these cases, we invariably have to start them on antihypertensive drugs for a long period of time. And the choice of drugs depends on the clinical profile of the patient. In secondary hypertension, there is a cause for this hypertension, which could be multiple reasons. It could be vascular causes, endocrine causes, and it could be certain disorders of the uh, cardiovascular system and the heart, which can give rise to high blood pressure. And in these cases, treating the cause would be sufficient for us to get rid of this hypertension. The common causes of secondary hypertension are renal diseases, renovascular hypertensions. We have certain endocrine disorders like pheochromocytomas. We have certain cardiac conditions, uh, some vascular diseases like coarctation of iota and certain inflammatory arteritis like Takayasu's arteritis. These are all the secondary causes of hypertension. In these conditions, we have to treat the cause and so that they need not be put on lifelong antihypertensive drugs management.